Ah, uh, thank you, Ed. We are over here at the control group where the Junior Achievement have their high school kids in here learning about job shadowing. When we come back with that just a little bit, guys. All right, uh, kids at Hoover High School are getting a special uh, uh, opportunity in Little Italy this morning. Yes, Brad Berry is telling us more about it. Hey, Brad, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're up here at the control group and uh, with Hoover High School, who are the uh, high school kids doing the job shadowing day through Junior Achievement. And with me is Mr. Polson. Did I say it right? Paulson, yes. Paulson, Mr. Paulson, this is great. Let's talk. This is so cool because, I mean, I'm going to say when I was growing up, we didn't get this kind of a job shadow and come into a company like this. With you guys teaching the tech now, that was what we're seeing, you know, the kids going to. This is a great opportunity, huh? Oh, tell me about it. It's great, great. We really want to thank the control group and uh, JA for setting this up with us. And it's the first time they've done something like this, and we're honored and privileged to be here. We so really are. Let's talk about what the class does because it's kind of, I was talking to the kids a little bit about too, but you teach them the technical part of it, right? Yes. Now, one of like the tech program. teachers, right. So what are, what are they learning nowadays in this type of field? Well, uh, primarily today we have the ninth graders, and they're, uh, they're learning foundations, uh, just basic uh, programming. Uh, they work with uh, specific programs uh, such as Alice, HTML. Uh, they learn some uh, multimedia, some marketing, um, pretty much uh, uh, covering the, the basics, the foundations, if you will, about uh, technology. And then as they progress through uh uh, as 10th graders and 11th graders and 12th graders, they uh, they learn more specifics yeah. according to their interests. And what's really great, because some of these kids probably would never have an opportunity to go into a company no. because, until they pretty much try to go into the work world. Right. So this is really good for them to come and see. Oh, it is. It is. It's great for them. Uh, they're so excited. They're, they're a little bit nervous being here, and uh, the cameras don't help much. But <laughs> but uh, it's great. It's just wonderful. And, and they get real-world experience. They just um, they would never get an experience like this before. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to probably see a couple of these uh, kids become billionaires as they are coming into the tech world. We can only hope, and we can only hope that they remember us yes, <laughs> when know. they do. Right? I love it. Thank you very right. much. I know they're getting there. And so I'm going to do some weather tape. What's going on outside? Uh, we got a great day out here. We are keeping an eye on the winds. But uh, I'll tell you, uh, what more can you ask for? But 93 today uh, for the coastal and tomorrow. And then we'll see 85 going into the weekend. And then we'll jump into pretty much the upper 60s by next week. For the inland, 90. Six today, tomorrow 101, and we do have a little wind that we're going to be watching uh, across pretty much uh, everywhere, and then we'll see into the uh, 70s for next week. For the mountains, that's the big thing we're keeping an eye on. They're going to be seeing pretty much 70 days, 76 tomorrow, 80 going into the weekend. A lot of windy conditions out that way for them, and we'll watch what's happening for them as it starts to move in. And as I also uh, mentioned, all that inland was hitting 101 uh, tomorrow. As we take a look and see for the desert, 91. For today, 95 tomorrow, and then Scorcher all the way uh, for Friday and Saturday of 101, but then back down to pretty much the uh, lower 90s, upper 80s uh, for next week for us. So no rain in our forecast right now, but a lot of hot weather. But again, we're keeping an eye on the wind conditions. And again, uh, please, please, if you're going out to do yard work, you're thinking about getting ready to go camping this week or anything, check with, of course, the, uh, the Cal Fire, different areas to make sure about uh, red flags, about not burning anything. And again, uh, keep an eye on our elderly people, too, because as we see this heat get here, David and Brandy, we're going to see them need to go cool off places. So find those, of course, cool zones that are around from anywhere from the movies to the YMCA to uh, coffee shops that uh, people can go and, uh, of course, uh, relax and enjoy uh, some nice temperatures, not like these hot ones we're seeing. So uh, it's going to be good out there. Brad, Thanks, Brad, thank you so much. And, you know, Brad's talking about those high winds. Unfortunately, that fire, brush fire in Santee that was yesterday is breaking out again today.